Okay, so one of the most common questions I get asked is how to cook chicken, how much time to cook, and do you have any solutions to this? The answer is yes. So before we begin, if anyone's interested in online coaching wants any help, please hit the link above uh, to apply to work myself or the team. Now into how to make this delicious uh, chicken recipe very, very easily and very, very quickly. Now, uh, this is a T-Fell multi-cooker. So this is the man in terms of machines to have in the kitchen. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna use a pressure cook setting, which allows us to cook the chicken very quickly. It takes about half an hour. And then, but then also it makes it um, super moist. So like a lot of times you put chicken in the oven, it'll go really dry. With pressure cooker, it goes really nice and moist. And what we can also do, because we're pressure cooking the chicken, is we can cook our veg in it as well. So what I'm gonna choose do, I've got some broccoli, I'm gonna chuck it in there, a little bit of kale that's left over, some mushrooms, a pepper. We chuck those bad boys in there. So I'm a big fan of mushrooms. They're really low calories when you're on diet. We're gonna put those in there with the chicken chopped up uh, with a stock vegetable cube that's about eight calories and a little bit of chicken seasoning, and that's from Costco. Um, so it's super easy, super quick, super tasty. And one top tip before we begin for chopping up chicken is use a set of scissors because it's much easier than actually dicing it. So if you want to cut stuff up into chunks, I would highly suggest using a set of scissors instead of a knife. So now we will begin. Uh, so we can open up the crock pot. What multi cooker should I say? And then first, I'll just put chicken, I'll just chop the chicken up straight into there and literally dice away, my friends. Try to avoid cutting your hand off at the same time as well, it's always helpful. I like quite big chunks, because I'm a big guy. Uh, in regards to chicken, I would highly suggest as well that you buy high quality chicken, so try not to, if you can afford to, buy the cheapest, uh, cheapest value chicken, uh, because there's quite a big difference, I think, in particular with chicken meat, uh, it's just poor quality. You'll notice that when you cook it, a lot of water comes out of it. Also using a set of scissors is quite good, because if you get any like, gristly bits like there, and get rid of that. So that's chicken chopped up. Now food hygiene. Or I haven't called out for this before about food hygiene, so I'd like to know I'm washing my hands. Particularly with the coronavirus at the moment, we should all be washing our hands a lot more. And now drying my hands. I'm gonna get told off because I use all the fish wrong. Uh, so that's that done. We'll chuck a bit of chicken seasoning in. Just gonna sprinkle that on little bit. So again, that's just the swartz one from Costco. I'm gonna break up a couple of mushrooms into there. You can use obviously any type of mushrooms you want. You can use literally any veg you want to chuck into this. It's a super easy piece. I'm just a big fan of mushrooms. Broccoli, I'm not a big fan of to be honest with you, but I just need to get rid of these. So I'm gonna chuck a couple of those in there. Now kale, that's really my jam. It's super high in antioxidants and vitamins and really easy to digest. So I tend to eat a lot of kale and spinach and then less so uh, in terms of things like broccoli and cauliflower. And lastly, I'm gonna chop a bit of this into the, uh, it doesn't matter if you use the same set of scissors as the chicken, because it's cooked with raw chicken anyway. So I literally like it, it's like chunks. And again, you can do the same, you can put onion in there as well. But to be honest, I'm most of the time too lazy to uh, chop the onion up. And I also find onion can play havoc with my digestion a little bit sometimes, so I'm not necessarily a massive fan of that. And then that's it. And then a piece of the resistance, the vegetable stock cube, whole eight calories there. Oh, there we go. It's all that weightlifting I found over the stock cube. How do old people do this? And then one stock cube in there, and that's been do. I'm going to mix it all around a little bit. Easy peasy. As you can see, we've got a healthy big mix, lots of different colours. You've got chicken, broccoli, mushrooms, peppers, seasoning, stock cube all in there. Literally pan that on, wash, pressure cook, power, done. And then half an hour later, this is done. What's really good with this as well, so like, I like to set this. 
So you can set on a timer, so that when I come home from the gym, it's just finished, so then you've got fresh food and fresh chicken. So uh, we will see what this looks like in 30 minutes. A few moments later. Okay, so timer just gone off, pressure is done. You have to let the pressure out of this bad boy, otherwise it'll explode. Actually won't let you unlock it. So let the pressure out. There we go. Molten lava of goodness. And then you can see veg or cooked chicken. If we can get some out. See, it just falls apart. It's so succulent. Perfectly cooked white. And it's not um, dry to the bone like it is when you cook it in an oven. So, actually, I'm, I was going to eat that, but I was going to scrub my mouth. If you look how hot that is, that would definitely. Let's, let's leave that for later and not be greedy. That's more a bit dry. It tastes very good. So, it's a really simple way of how to cook uh, chicken in a pressure cooker. I'll put all the bits and pieces I use below so you guys can give it a try yourself. This is Tifa Multi Cooker. Any more cooking stuff you want to see, let me know. Anything else you want to see. If you found the video helpful, like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.